Welcome back. Kim Wilcox is here now from It's Also Yummy Cafe showing us how to make her newest grilled cheese of the month. And this looks amazing. It is very it's good. It's good to see good you. I miss you around you. here. Now, what is this called? You're still coming up with a name I really for it, don't right? have a name. By the time I think of something that I really like, <laughs> it'll be time to move on. So it well, is just the November it? grilled cheese. <laughs> so what is in this is, and I kind of started it here because it does sometimes take a little bit for this cheese to melt. So it's blackberry compote. It is a pepper jack cheese. This is a combination of an extra sharp cheddar and a little bit of mm. like a spicy pepper jack cheese that I've shredded and put on this side. And of course, we're gonna have some bacon on it. Yeah. So you do, as always, we'll heat your cooking vessel to 350. Okay. Make sure it's hot before you get started. Melt some butter. We've buttered both sides and we want them to get nice and toasty like that one is. So we're gonna let them sit here for a minute until this cheese melts, until everything gets toasty. And you I love how you combine like a sweet and a spicy. You do this in a lot I of do your it grilled a lot cheese. Because I personally, well, I mean we have plain stuff for people who don't enjoy that. Right. But I like a lot of depth of flavor yes. and a lot of different flavors mixed together. So yes, when I do new ones, they tend to have that a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy. Well, and if you've ever been to the restaurant, you know, Kim comes up with some pretty wild creations. Yeah, do they just sometimes. come to you? They do sometimes, yeah. In, in, very in the middle of the a night. A lot of times it's built off of one thing. Like I'll think of one ingredient okay. and then kind of build around that. So for this one, what happened was I had a bunch of blackberries from the farm mm -hmm. that I buy stuff from over the summer. I had them in the freezer. And I started thinking, what could we do? Because it's kind of a summer fruit, but what could yeah. I do that would make it like a fall flavor? Right. So I cooked these blackberries down in sugar. Normally in the summer, I would probably put a little bit of lemon zest in them to give them that light summer flavor. Mm -hmm. But these I actually put in a little bit of orange zest and a little bit of cinnamon, just to mm. give it a warm feel yeah, for fall. Yeah, I like so that. So it's not just like a total summer flavor. Okay, so you put that on while it's still on the griddle. I put it on, yeah, we're just gonna that lay this delicious. right on there. So while it's cooking and cooking down, I do mash some of the blackberries up. Okay. So you have some whole pieces, and then you're just gonna have some that are not, you know, that are just more gelatinous. Wow, that looks amazing. So what else you got going on at the restaurant right now? Oh, we're just gearing up for the holidays doing orders, you know, Thanksgiving for Christmas. What kind of orders? Thanksgiving, like cook side dishes, okay. to cook ahead, desserts, um, things like that. Ice cream, we just put out two new ice cream oh, flavors yes. this morning for the holidays. You guys have great ice cream too. Yeah, well we've, our ho all of our holiday flavors are out now, so we're good to go. Awesome, all yeah. right, so now we just need to put the top yep, on there. we're just gonna put the lid on it. Perfect. And let it cook. And there you and go. And I like to, as you see, when I make these, I put the cheese to the edge, and I don't, I like it to flip over on the edge a little bit. So you're yeah, going to get this on the side. Little bit of cheese skirt well, hanging that way around. It covers the whole piece of bread. I like yes. that too. Yes, and it looks cool when it's got a little bit of it hanging off the edge. Delicious. And it looks like over here, you just top it off with a little jalapeno. Yep, I do. Perfect. Now, where can people find you if uh, they want to try it? 124 South Peters Road. Go check her out. She's great. She's got great stuff. Only till the end of November. Then we'll move on to a new one. All right, Kim. Thank you very thank much. You.